Hello guys, I'm Tony Horn from Horn & Phillips. Today we'll be doing a sweet potato and potato fries with three dips. Very nice as a little starter or a snacky item. Okay, so we'll start with a, we'll start with some potatoes. We'll just slice them to the slice of your slicer. As you can see, I've done a few samples there already. And then what you do is you slice them along. If you do want them a little thicker than a, your average slicer, you can just use a knife and thicken them up a little bit. And it's nice to mix and match a little bit. A couple of thick ones, a couple of thin ones. And then what you do as well is you do the same with the um, sweet potato. What you do like to do is keep the sweet potato skins on. So it adds another element to it. Make sure you get a nice sharp knife. And then you slice the sweet potato. So what you're going to do now as well is that you make sure your oil is two different temperatures. Your oil for your potatoes need to be around 180 degrees and your sweet potato, because of the sugar content in it, needs to be a little cooler. So there I like to do it about um, uh, 130 degrees to 150 degrees. Okay, so I've got the oil on at 180. I'll put some potatoes in. I have something to take the potatoes out with. Can you see that? So quickly it's sizzling, perfect temperature. Just turn them over in the pan. So these you'll do until they start getting crispy. Once you've taken them out and you air dry them a little by leaving them stand for a while, then um, they'll crisp up. Crisp completely. Just want to show you by putting a little sweet potato in there what happens. Okay they're nearly done. We'll just pre-do these and then we'll start with the, with the dips. You see that colour starting to form now. Yeah, it's sizzle. Okay, so it's not going golden brown. Too hot. Onto your paper towel. You kind of got to eat these in a couple of hours after you've made them, otherwise they go soggy. So you know, it's not something you want to keep overnight and use again tomorrow. So we'll just damp proof them a little bit here. Okay, so let me do a couple more. And once you've done some sweet potatoes and potatoes, you've got what looks like nice and crispy. Okay, now I'm going to, add, I'm going to make um, some dips quickly. The one dip is going to be a just a chili tomato and chili dip, um, more like a salsa. So a little bit in there, and then secondly, I'm going to take some pineapple. This is a crushed pineapple. And some cream cheese. So what we do is just cream cheese into the dish with pineapple. Keep a bit of syrup in there as well. We grew up on this um, when the parents used to make fondues as a kid, and this used to be one of our dips. So as you can see, cream cheese dip, pineapple. And then I'm going to make a tzatziki dip, and that's just your traditional Greek dip with cucumber and a bit of yogurt, plain yogurt. So, what I'll do is pass the cucumber quite thinly. Just 
Don't need too much of it. Stack them, dice them. Yogurt. Put some pepper onto there. A little bit of salt. Some herbs if you like. And then what we'll do is just take away a little paper towel. And then we can add on to the dish. Savory sweet potato and potato fries. Quick and easy fried out snack. Come on, guys, get stuck in here.